scholars. By now, you have located New York State on the world map, here. However, this was not always the case. If we were to turn the clocks back 200 million years into the past, the land that we call New York State would be located here. At this point in time, all of the continents and land masses on our planet were close together in a supercontinent called Pangaea. How is it possible for the continents of our planet to move in this way? This question is answered through the study of plate tectonics, or the study of the movement of our Earth's crust. The crust is Earth's outermost layer, like the shell of a giant egg. This shell, however, is broken into large pieces called tectonic plates. These tectonic plates do not stand still, but in fact are constantly moving and shifting. The movement of tectonic plates is caused by the mantle, Earth's second layer. The mantle is composed of incredibly hot, melted rock. The heat of the mantle creates circular patterns of movement called convection currents, pushing the tectonic plates above in different directions. Think of the mantle like an ocean of melted rock and tectonic plates like giant icebergs which float on top. Tectonic movement is very slow. Plates only move four inches or so every year. However, that movement adds up over time, and over millions of years we can see dramatic changes. Never forget, scholars, the ground we stand upon never, never stands still. How many layers does the Earth have, other than the crust and the mantle? How can plate tectonics help us understand phenomena like earthquakes and volcanoes, and what what do you think Earth's crust will look like 200 million years into the future?